Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and testing out the new Belkin MagSafe mount that allows you to magnetize your iPhone onto the back of your Mac and use the camera on your iPhone as the webcam instead of the one that's built in on your MacBook. This is a great accessory for anyone that's on lots of video calls because the webcams on the MacBooks, especially the older ones, like my 2017 Mac Pro here, aren't the best. And of course, when you're on lots of video calls, having awesome audio and video quality just means you have a much better experience on your video call. Of course, we're gonna unbox this and set it up. And if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you wanna supercharge the way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So it comes in a really small box here. Uh, basically, you can see at the back here, uh, you can have it in either portrait or landscape mode. It's got a nice little pull tab. We're just going to pop that open with a little bit of force. Just pop out the sides. You can see here it shows you that it's got a ring at the back, so you can keep this connected to your phone all the time and use it as a ring holder. And then, of course, you mount it via MagSafe onto your Mac, and it shows you exactly how you can place it for portrait and landscape. Here it is. It's a little packaging, and it is just essentially a magnetic MagSafe, MagSafe puck that pops out, and you can use that as a ring holder. And then this Belkin PC is what attaches to the top of your MacBook. So to attach to your iPhone, of course, your iPhone is going to need to have MagSafe. You're going to grab the puck, and then you're basically just going to line it up, and it's going to snap onto your Mac onto your iPhone. The back here acts as a ring holder so it makes it easier for you to hold. It's actually really strong because it is a MagSafe approved accessory and when you are going to hook it onto the back of your Mac, the little Belkin tab here pops up and then this little hook allows you to place it onto your Mac and of course you can rotate it very easily whether you want to do portrait or landscape with your video calls. So to connect it up to your Mac in landscape, we're gonna have this basically running the landscape and the hook here is gonna be open. And then you're gonna place it so the iPhone isn't in the middle, but more so to the left-hand side and the camera is in the middle of the screen. And you can see there the camera is now basically where your webcam would be, which gives you direct eye contact. If you put the phone in the middle of the screen, you would be looking towards the right-hand side. So what you want to do is angle it more so on the left. So the camera is in the center of your screen and not your iPhone. All right, so right now you're seeing me from the MacBook webcam. What we can do is go into the top left-hand corner. We're on FaceTime right now, we're not starting a call, but we're gonna go under the video tab, which is the third from the left. From here, we're gonna drop down and we're gonna choose to use the iPhone 13 mini camera. And you're gonna see the pitch quality get so much better right now. So we're gonna change it. Takes a second, but you can see it is so much clearer, nowhere near as grainy. So it's really easy when your phone and your MacBook, they just connect up when you've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on both of them. And you have the option of choosing the iPhone mini as your camera. You go video, and you can also scroll down to choose the iPhone you or the audio you want. Right now you're hearing the audio from my microphone is in the dedicated mic, but if you didn't want to use the MacBook mic, you wanted to use your phone mic, you could actually scroll down and choose to use your iPhone 13 microphone as well. The cool thing with using your iPhone as the webcam isn't just about having a very good, amazing quality webcam, you also get some very cool effects as well. So in the top right hand corner of Mac OS, we're gonna select on the little control icon and this is gonna drop down a few of our settings and we're gonna turn on the option of video effects. And this is gonna give us a few things to choose from. Right now, none of these are turned on. The quality you're seeing right now is just the camera itself, but you can of course go portrait mode and that's gonna automatically blur the background just like you would with a portrait photo. Or we could actually choose to go studio lighting and this is gonna give it a bit more of that studio depth where you can see the background became a little bit darker um, and there was a bit more focus on my face. Or if you wanted to, you could do a center stage and center stage is where the phone is gonna zoom in or out depending on who's talking. And if I move around the screen or move around the place, the camera is gonna follow me using that center stage camera and it is really smooth. But what I'm really, really excited about is the fourth option down the bottom called desk view where you can use the camera, the ultra wide on your phone to actually show off things in front of you without having to pull your camera or your laptop screen all the way down. 
You do have to move it down a little bit so it can actually grab a bit better of a view. But I'm gonna go desk view. It's gonna ask me to, so right now this is using the ultra wide and it wants you to use the controls here to zoom in or out of how much of the desk you wanna show. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. I'm gonna grab the packet, put it down in front of me and I'm gonna go start using desk view. Oh, let me move that. So if it's not totally correct, we can zoom out a bit more or zoom in. And this is where I say you gotta just tilt the screen just a little bit. I can still fully see the screen properly. It's just tilted that little bit. But now using the ultra wide, I can actually showcase things in my hand here. I can grab another iPhone and I can start showing some things off using the camera on the iPhone, using the ultra wide on the iPhone. Um, to do this, I can still see my screen clearly. I can type away on the keyboard. If I zoom out all the way, you don't get the best view, but you can really zoom in too. And this is really one of the biggest reasons I wanted to buy this camera or buy this accessory because for 45 bucks, I think it gives you so many more ways of working with your iPhone and just extends the way you can use your Mac. Let's jump back into our settings here turn off desk view by simply just going X out of that. And it's gonna go back into FaceTime. It's gonna focus on my face. We're gonna scroll up and then we're gonna go into those settings again. Center stage, we can turn that off. And there you go. I'm just gonna zoom out just a little bit by pushing my Mac back. Uh, so there you guys have it. I think this accessory for 45 Aussie bucks is a great way of upgrading your web experience or your video conferencing experience. Um, it's another way of just pairing your Mac and your iPhone together. It's a great way of just adding more functionality to your Mac ecosystem, and I really will not regret it. And of course, being a MagSafe accessory, it just clips on and off, but it's also really strong. Um, for 45 bucks, I could definitely recommend this to basically anybody that has a Mac and an iPhone. I think it's a really cool accessory and I can't actually wait to see what other MagSafe accessories come out. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge the ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. And of course, in the comments, let me know what you think about the Belkin or the MagSafe accessories that let you use your iPhone as a webcam. Thanks and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.